Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss a particular problem of reading textual data that is raw text from CSV files. Now in one of the assignments in section 4 that is about document grouping or clustering, you were given this assignment where to read the data from the Echo Hotel dataset on the UCI repository that has got raw text as you can see. It hasn't got any other attributes, just the one attribute that holds the textual data and it has got a total of 401 instances. So this is a fairly simple dataset that I have particularly chosen for you as beginners to this area so that you focus on clustering the data and not on resolving the issues of reading data from the dataset. Just to give you a hint, assume that if this dataset would have multiple attributes with one of them holding the textual data, the more irrelevant details we have in a dataset, the more pre-processing we are going to need in order to get the content that we actually require, which in this case is raw text. But it turns out that reading such simple data from CSV files can still be quite challenging and still has its own issues. Now this is the data set that I'm talking about and it has got a total of 401 instances as we can see from over here and we can confirm it from down here as well that the data set has got a total of 401 instances with the first row holding the label for the data. CSV stands for comma separated values which means that the data is organized into columns separated by commas. So each time it sees a comma, it disconnects the value of that cell and starts assuming the following text or data as the data for the next cell. But in text, we have commas within the text also. So they are getting confused with the commas that actually separates the data of the cells. Now let's just verify it from this dataset. I have expanded the view of the first column. So this is all that we have in the first column. But you can see that we also have some text in the second column. Now from the description, we can see that it has got only one column. So why we have data in column B and column B does not hold records for all the rows. So it means that before staff, there was a comma and therefore the values for cell A is completed and staff is being considered as a value for the second column. The same way before since we assume there would be a comma and the rest of the text is being considered as belonging to the column B. And then as we move on, some of the rows will have text coming to column C and D. So when you read this data through pandas, you are going to get errors because each row is going to have different number of columns. Now there are multiple ways to deal with this problem and it depends on how accurate you want to be in order to read data from the data set because if you have millions of records, we might not be troubled with few instances being misread and would just be happy if we are not getting any errors. So one such way is to, is to manually change the extension of this file from CSV to TXT or plain text and then we can read it as plain text. So let's just try this solution. Okay, so we have changed its extension from CSV to TXT and let's read it through code. So corpus is going to be open the data from the location Okay, so we are reading the data from the data set. We converted the CSV format manually to .txt and in terms of errors, we are good. However, what we have done must have affected some of the rows. So let's just see the total number of rows that we have got. Oh, sorry, we first have to split them on new line. So the data is corpus.split on new line and then we are going to look into the total number of documents that we have got and we have a total of 653 documents so excluding the first one that is holding the label 
the data that was of 401 instances is converted into 652 instances or rows. So this is the problem that we have encountered by converting the CSV format data into .txt format. So what actually has happened is that some of the rows are being considered as multiple instead of a single row. So again, as I said, if we have millions of documents, so this may not affect a big deal and we can continue with this solution. Another way to deal with this problem is to read the data in its original format that is CSV format by using pandas. So we will import pandas spd and then the corpus is going to be Okay, so when we are trying to read the data without setting any parameters with pandas, calling the function read underscore CSV, we are getting the errors that the rows have got different number of columns and which is obvious as we saw from the text in the data set. So we are going to define another attribute and that is error bad lines equal to false. So we are suppressing the error message for bad lines and we are rather suggesting to ignore the rows that has got issues. With this, you can see that it's skipping the lines that has got different number of columns or fields. So what it's doing is that it's getting the number of columns from the first row. And if that is not matched by the following rows, then it should have generated an error. So therefore, in order to restrict that, it's actually ignoring all those rows. So keeping the first row as standard for the number of columns, all the following rows that do not have the same number of columns are being skipped. But we are also getting this error and that is saying that UTF-8 is not a good type for representing this type of data. And we can see from the data that it has got some characters or symbols that may not be defined in UTF-8, which is a character encoding scheme and is very famous with web-based applications. So we can see that it has got characters like over here, this E in the decor that may not be defined in the UTF-8 character encoding scheme. And there may be some other characters and symbols like this, and therefore we are getting this particular error. So in order to address this, we'll have to use some other encoding scheme that has all the characters that we have in the text so for that I have searched few resources and the recommended one is to use encoding as Latin one. And the problem has been resolved. That is that of the unknown characters or the characters that were not there in the default UTF-8 encoding scheme. So we are using a different encoding scheme and we are suppressing the errors therefore some or maybe most of the rows are being skipped. So let's see what we have in corpus. And as I told you, it's getting the number of rows from the first row. And now it has no issue in reading this decor because we are using a better encoding scheme. We have labeled for only one column while we have more than one columns. So we have a big mismatch of all the data that we have. It doesn't have any columns. So all the data is in the first column and then all the rest of the columns have non-readable data. While these columns have commas and therefore they are having data in other columns also. And the total number of columns are the ones that are set by the first row while any row that has got columns more than these are ignored. So. The total number of rows that we are reading is 392. If we subtract this from 401, we have nine rows that has got more than eight columns or more than eight commas. So even if we are reading most of the data 
and we are not getting any errors still this is not a reasonable way of reading this data so let's just move on to our final solution where we are not going to skip any rows we'll still be using the encoding scheme because we have different characters in our data so we have to define another attribute and that is to define the delimiter and the default delimiter is comma and we do not want that to be used so therefore we want the delimiter to be used as and that should be separating one piece of text from the other and if we use this as a delimiter then the commas are going to be ignored as delimiter and are going to be treated as regular characters now you can see that all the data is being read as a single column the column name is reviews we have got a total of 401 rows so this is the most appropriate way of reading the data from this data set and since we are not having any issues with any of the rows so therefore if we ignore this part it's still going to display the same result because now after addressing the issue of different number of columns with the delimiter we are not having any errors with any of the lines so a question for you now how are we going to know whether the mechanism that we are using for reading the data set is accurate or not when you are not getting any errors so we have 401 rows and one column and the most appropriate way to verify whether we are reading the data correctly is to get back to the source and verify it from here any data set that you are using is going to have a readme file so it's strongly recommended that you read that file learn about the different features and what information they have and then once you read the data into your code cross check that that whether you are reading it correctly so this was all about reading this single column textual data from a csv file thank you